this is a pretty spectacular case. You, of course, you can't recognize this as liver because it doesn't look like liver. But when you zip up a couple of notches, you can clearly start to see some sinusoids like here. And you can see that the areas around the portal triads, let's go to a smaller area like here and here and here, areas in which you could see bile ducts and arteries and all your classical things in the portal triad. You can still see that there are some residual sinusoids and cords in these areas. Another thing that you could see in a very spectacular way that you normally can't see is that look at how all of these portal areas generally maintain a spaced and a uh, relatively hexagonal arrangement with respect to each other. This is not randomly thrown into the liver like in nodular cirrhosis. These are still nicely spaced. The architecture is intact. But the one thing that you cannot see here is any viable tissue in the central vein areas. The portal areas are preserved. The central areas are not preserved. They're necrotic, as though they had been acutely poisoned. And of course, there is no evidence that there's any fibrosis in this liver either, just an acute necrosis in the central vein areas. So what could do this? Well, if you remember the general flow of the liver, realizing that the portal flow is about three times more than the hepatic arterial flow, the vast majority of flow in the liver goes from the portal vein over here to the central veins through the sinusoids and then to up into the hepatic veins. So if there was a toxic compound, let's say, the very first group of liver cells to hit it would be the ones around the portal area. And if there was an anoxic or hypoxic problem, then the areas hardest hit would be the central lobular areas, like central lobular necrosis with heart failure. But some toxic compounds affect the central lobular portions first and relatively selectively. And chloroform is one of those compounds. And I suspect this may be an animal that was uh, had either too much chloroform or was very, very sensitive to it because the central uh, veins, the central lob the center portions of the lobules are wiped out and the portal areas that have the portal vein and the little bit of connective tissue and if you look maybe uh, definitely part of a hepatic artery those are relatively preserved so this is central lobular necrosis secondary to uh, one of the many toxins that can do this uh, which is chloroform i believe carbon tetrachloride is another classical thing that does it but once again look the areas where you see relatively preserved uh, tissue are closer to the portal areas where you can see portal veins and parts of bile ducts and hepatic arteries. The parts that are wiped out, like here, uh, are the central portions of the lobule. There may have been a residual central vein in here at one time. Maybe I would like to imagine it could have been there, but I'm not sure because the whole central portion of the lobule is necrotic, i.e. central lobular necrosis. These are relatively viable hepatocytes looking exactly the way they should. And these remnants of cells in here hardly being able to make out nuclei anymore, perhaps there, 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 there. These are necrotic hepatocytes. Thank you very much.